So one of the things I'm always mentioning on my channel is that if you want to grow on Amazon and start scaling to five, ten thousand pound profit, you really need to start picking a different category other than sort of health and beauty and toys. Well, in this video, I'm going to be talking exactly how we can find a category and more importantly, how we can actually source a brand new category. So if that interests you guys, stay tuned. Hi, my name's Simon. I'm a six-figure Amazon seller. I make between eight and ten thousand pounds per month by selling on Amazon. And today we're going to be talking about how to actually find and source a category. Now, before we get started, I just want to say I have a free Discord that you can come and join, ask me questions, hang out with other people who are like-minded Amazon sellers that are new and existing sellers. So if you want to come and join that Discord, link in description. So without further ado, let's get started on how do you actually be begin sourcing a category? Well, the first step is you just need to start thinking of what category you want to sell in. And there are so many different categories and options on Amazon, it's kind of insane. So you can just go onto Amazon and look on the sort of the menu on the left-hand side and see what categories there are. And I always say to people, you should always try and source a category you're interested in. So, you know, let's take an example of like, knitting and sewing. That might be a very good category to sell into, but if you're not interested in knitting and sewing, then might not be the best one to choose. So I always think it's good to try and align the category with your interest. So the first step is just choosing a category. And to be honest, most of them are absolutely fine. Now, step two is to begin listing all the different sites that you can find. So let's take, in our example, we're gonna do a DIY sort of tools, you know, power tools, drills, that kind of things like that. So that's the category we've chosen. Okay, now the next step is I'm going to go to Google. I'm going to start you know, Googling DIY tools, power tools, drills, all this kind of stuff, basically, garden tools. And I'm going to be making a list of every single website I find that I can potentially source from in the future. And guys, I've got a spreadsheet I've created. I'm going to share this with you now. And you can see here that um, what I've done is I've actually outlined the steps here. But what, we, what we've got at the bottom uh, down here is these different tabs and we've got a site list. And what I want you to do is just start listing every single site that you can find. And ideally you, want to try, ideally you want to try and get to sort of 50, 100 sites, the more the better basically. And what you're going to want to do is obviously put the name, the URL, um, for now that's all you need to do and just basically list as many sites as possible. Okay, so that's the first thing. We're doing the research. We're trying to find what sites we can source from. And this is a, uh, this entire document here, by the way, is gonna be your sort of master plan of sourcing this category and keeping track of this category. So, you know, you can get the link to this in the description or it's available in my Discord group as well, if you want to. And you can just go to this link and you can make a copy of this Google Sheet. So step two, we've started listing all their sites and putting them into this spreadsheet. Now, step three is to begin signing up to all the newsletters on all these websites that you found. Now, you can do this afterwards if you want, or you can do this as you're actually listing the websites. But the most important thing here is to actually get signed up to the newsletters for all these sites. And I do recommend you create a brand new Gmail for these guys so you can have... Um, just one Gmail just for this specific category and it's not getting mixed in with your personal emails and other emails and that way you just know every email that comes in is going to be specifically for this category. So that's another sort of tip that I can give you there basically. And what you're going to be doing now is uh, and the whole point behind signing up to these newsletters is that every day you're going to be looking for all the sales that come along basically um, for all these different sites and that's where you're going to start end up sourcing from those sales. Now, before we go on to the next step, I just want to mention my sponsor, Profit Protector Pro. Now, if you're going to be going into a new category, guys, you want to make sure that your repricer is on point. And there is no better repricer that I know on Amazon than Profit Protector Pro. It has some really smart algorithmic strategies that you can select for all your different listings, whether you want to be uh, maximizing sales, maximizing profit, just kind of clear stock or whatever strategy you want, basically. They've, they've got nine or 10 algorithmic strategies to choose from. And these use AI, ML, you know, um, to basically try and maximize other sales or profit or whatever your goal is for each listing. 
And, you know, as you can see here, Profit Protector Pro has made me an extra sort of 18, 1900 pounds extra since I've been using it. And I've been using it now for about six weeks. So I'm a huge proponent of this software. And if you guys want to sign up for this uh, software, I've got a link in the description. There's a 14 day free trial as well. So it's a no brainer, really. Give it a go and actually you'd be quite shocked at how much extra money you can make. So step four is to look out for all these different sales every day that you're seeing on your Gmail, from all these newsletters. And once you find an interesting sale, you're going to want to go onto that site and start manual sourcing. Um, and if you want to know how to manual source, I'll put up a video here that shows you how to do manual sourcing. And yeah, basically what you want to do is just manual source that sale and trying to find some leads. And as you're going, guys, you're going to be wanting to put in any kind of brands that you find into here um, as well. So you've got your site list and your brands. And as you start finding leads, by the way, you want to start sort of filling out the quality of leads. So what I've done here is I've created a key um, sort of none, you know, for no deals found for this. It should be say site there, not brand. Uh, you know, or low deals tend to brick, a low profit, high returns, medium, good leads, but not frequent, you know, not found frequently, might be slightly bricky or sort of high, which has got loads of deals. And I've created these, you can change them if you want. And what you can do is you can start listing your sites and giving them a ranking. Um, obviously, this will come over time. This is a document that you need to be building and working on for weeks and months, basically. And that's how you get really good at a category is by sourcing it and working on it over a longer period. And that's how you become an expert. And yet, as you do this, you'll be categorizing each website. And the whole idea here, Buck, by the way, guys, is that you're going to be starting off with 100, you know, 50, 100, 150, you know, however many sites you find. But by the end of it, you're going to only end up with maybe sort of two, three, five, maybe 10 at most, that are really the, the cream of the crop, the best ones to source from. And those are the ones you're gonna really concentrate your efforts on in the future. And again, that comes from learning the categories and learning the brands. So you wanna just keep track of your sites, keep track of your brands. And again, the brands here, we can see, you know, are you, you can make maybe put a brand in here, the name of a brand, I don't know, Makita, for example, for tools. You can say, can you sell it? Yes. And, you know, uh, quality of leads, you know, uh, is it a good, is it a good brand? Brand, is it a bad brand? That kind of thing, basically. Does it tend to brick? And again, you can start to figure out what sites are really good to source from and what brands are really good to sell on Amazon. And when you get that information, that's when the money starts rolling in. So once we've actually found a lead from doing a newsletter manual sourcing, we're gonna actually look at that listing and do some reverse sourcing. So ideally you'll find a lead that other Amazon sellers are selling. And what you're looking to do hopefully is find other smart sellers that are selling in your category. So once you find a lead, let's say we find a Makita drill, and we go onto that listing and we see there's three other sellers on there. What we're going to do is reverse source those sellers and just see what other items they're selling, what other brands, what other items they're selling in that category. And then we can then try and then find those on certain websites. And this is where we you can basically you know, try and figure out what brands are good to sell, but also what sites are good to source from, because you've seen other sellers on there selling these things already. So this is how we kind of accelerate and uh, begin to get really good at this category. So we're doing a bit of manual sourcing, and we're also learning the categories and the brands from other people as well. So it's a two-pronged approach, essentially. And what you're going to want to do is put the sellers that you can reverse source in this next tab here. So the store name and the store URL, just so you can go back to them in the future. If maybe you're having a bad day, you can't find any items to actually source from manual sourcing, you know, as it happens, you, you know, not every day is a great day of sourcing. And if you're having a bad day of manual sourcing, you can always go back and maybe look through some old sellers that you actually found um, and maybe try and get some ideas from them as well. So it's always good to document all this in here as well. And the next thing you're going to be doing as well is just talking about, you know, this is step six now, is just making sure you document everything basically. So we're documenting the site, we're documenting the brands, we're documenting the Amazon sellers as well. But finally, we're also documenting the sales cycles. So as I've mentioned just you know a few minutes ago, once you get good at the brands and the sites that you can source from, you'll start realizing there are certain sales cycles that happen. So maybe there's a certain time of year that DIY tools, an example, go on offer, okay? Maybe, um, you know, middle of the year, maybe let's say in June, for example, 
most of the sites do a big clearance, okay? That could be a great time to actually buy loads of stock for the rest of the year. And what you need to do is document this in here so you can then learn the trends of the sales cycles. It may be that a certain site has a really good sale, you know, twice a year, for example. Maybe they, they do 50% off. And again, you want to track that so you know exactly when those kind of sales come along. And when they come along, you know, to actually source them and buy stuff from there, which then you can then sell for the rest of the year. Um, you say it could be like just sites, you know, particular brands that are going on sale on certain sites. It could be sites that have certain sales. Um, could be just a certain time of year, especially if your product the or category you're in is sort of seasonal as well. You'll find that as it goes off season, you can get some great deals and then kind of hold them for when the season comes around. I guess a good example would be sun creams, for example. Right now, pretty good. Sales are starting to really increase. We're in May, by the way, guys. Just the beautiful week of sun in the UK. So, you know, I've noticed, you know, sun creams have started selling better. But obviously in December, around Christmas, they don't sell very well. So you can actually pick up a lot of deals on certain sites for sun creams and then just hold them for three, four, five, six months and then make massive profits. I was making, you know, five, six pound profit per bottle. And obviously you can imagine the sales volumes that happen with uh, sun creams. And we're not even into summer yet, guys. So yeah, and what you want to do basically is just document this and you just need to rinse and repeat this entire document in terms of every day you need to be ideally finding maybe new sites. Once you've found new sites, you're looking for new newsletters, signing up to those. And then your manual sourcing those newsletters and doing some reverse sourcing and just rinsing, and repeating those steps over and over and over. Um, obviously, after a time, you probably don't find new sites, but you can just rinse and repeat the whole manual sourcing process. And um, that's the best way. And also, don't forget to track replens as well. So make sure you track any items that do well. You can replenish them as well. So you're not always looking forward. You're looking back as well. And that's where you can... Um, you know, you've got this whole document here. And maybe actually I'll add an extra tab in here, which is just like your replens. So items you need to look out for in the future that are going to be replenishables. So guys, uh, before I go, I just want to mention, uh, obviously, um, as before, I've got that free Discord. If you want to learn more about Amazon selling, you know, want to ask me questions, you can join that link in description. I've also got a giveaway, guys. Um, free to enter. Um, there's multiple ways to enter it. Um, I'm giving away two hours of free one-on-one -on -one coaching that's worth £200. I charge £100 per hour. I'm giving away two thermal printers. I'm giving away some shipping labels and SKU labels and also two sort of holders for those things as well. So the value of this probably is about, I don't know, four or £500. So if you guys want to enter that giveaway, again, link in description, um, that'd be awesome. But yeah, guys, hopefully you found that useful. Hopefully this is now going to be a good guide for you to begin sourcing a new category. And I think this is honestly the best way if you want to really scale your Amazon business. And can you just imagine that, you know, if you spend a few years doing this and you get, you know, four or five different categories going where you, you're a real expert at the, you know, the category and sourcing them, then you're going to make a huge amount of money. And the other good thing as well, just before we finish, is once you get good at, let's say, sourcing DIY and tools and you've documented everything in your spreadsheet, this is when you can then hire a virtual assistant and basically palm off this entire process onto them. Teach them the brands, the sites, the sales cycles, what things to order for replens, what sellers to reverse source. And you can then pass that onto a virtual assistant who can then keep it going while you then research a new category. So guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.